Hi everyone, welcome back to our detective series. Now that you are a licensed detective for addition and subtractions, you are being promoted to senior detective. Yay! Many congratulations, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. So, in today's mission is to learn to solve complex two-step mysteries where every clue counts. But don't forget to like and subscribe our channel Maths with Varnika. But have you wondered what is a two-step word problem? Hmm, it's actually two small mysteries being combined into one. Meaning, you're given a big case and that case is actually made up of two small mysteries. But the catch is that you can only get to the second mystery when you've solved your first mystery. Hmm. And either of the mystery can be solved using addition or subtraction. Great. So I hope you have already mastered our previous lessons on addition and subtraction word problems. And if not, don't worry, I'll link them down in the description or you can access it through our channel. Steps to solve two-step mystery. The first step is to read the problem carefully at least twice so you have a better understanding of your problem. The next would be to find out your goal, what you want to achieve. Collect all the information on your case scene. Then you need to break your big case into small mysteries. And then you also need to decide the order in which you are going to solve each mystery. Because when you solve the mystery in order, you have to pass the result from the first mystery to the next. So order is very important. Do you think these are too many steps? Don't worry. Once you start applying them to the problems, they'll become your brain muscle memory. Let's look at our first case. The case of missing stamps. So first step is to read carefully. Let's read our problem. Hey detectives, we need to investigate the theft of two rare stamps. The first stamp, the flying eagle was valued at $45. The second stamp, the inverted jenny was valued at $38 more than the flying eagle penny. We need to inform sheriff what is the total value of both stamps. So what's our goal here? The total value of both stamps. And what is the third step? The given information. What is given to us? The value of stamp 1. $45. And what else do we know? We know that we need to find the value of second stamp. That is our first mystery. So we are breaking into small mysteries. The next thing we need to find is the total value of both stamps. That's our second mystery. What's the order? We need to find the value of stamp 2 first so that we can find the combined value. So the order is decided. Now, the last step is to solve each mystery. So we'll first solve find value of stamp 2. Now stamp 2 is, clue word here is more. So what does the more clue word say to us? Addition. So it's 38 more than stamp 2. Let's add. 45 plus 38 will be 83. Let's write it down. $83. Next step is to find combined value of step 1 and step 2. So, what do we need to do? Combined. This tells us what operation? Additions. So, we are going to add step 1 and step 2 value. So, we will do combination of groups. And the addition value will be of $128. So, total value of both stamps is? $128. Good job, detectives. Let's solve our next case. The case of the files. Please pause and try yourself first. Let's continue. The first step is to read carefully. Let's do that. Detective Reed had 525 case files to solve. Over the weekend, she was given 249 more new case files. Later, she found 118 of those case files were duplicate files. And so she removed the duplicate files. How many case files does she have now? Hmm, what is your goal here? What do you need to find? How many case files does she have? So total number of case files. 
and then we let's collect all our given information what are we given we have 525 case files at first then we have 249 new cases and then 118 of them were duplicate cases now that we have collected all our information let's break this problem into small mysteries so what we need to do first we'll have to find total number of case files including the new cases the next thing we have to do is we have to remove the duplicate cases so the order which we have to do is we have to find total case files first and then next order is to solve finding files after removing duplicates the last step is to solve each mystery so let's solve the first one find total case files 525 plus 249 why are we doing addition see the clue word says more so on adding what do we get 9 plus 5 is 14 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 5 plus 2 is 774 so we got 774 total case files now what is the next step we have to find files after removing duplicates so what do we see the duplicate cases removed this is our clue word that's telling us what operation is this subtraction so let's do subtraction so there was 774 118 were removed how many are left so let's subtract 14 minus 8 will 4 minus 8 is not possible we borrow from our neighbor 6 and this becomes 14 14 minus 8 is 6 6 minus 1 5 Seven minus one is six. So total number of duplicate files are six hundred fifty-six. So we found our answers that the total number of case files at the end was six hundred fifty-six. Great job, detectives! Deserve a badge for solving two-step word problems. I'll see you guys in the next class. Bye bye.